Hello, it's uh, Gary Foster again, and on this video you're going to discover how to put together a press release so that you can literally get free advertising. And I know for therapists, one of the biggest challenges is uh, the amount of budget they may have to promote their business. Now, if you remember the last video, we went through uh, you know, how to use your business card, and I did touch on that basically. Um, actually, one of the little things I did forget to mention is the reason why we use a photograph. Okay, now one of the reasons that you use a photograph on a business card is it actually creates a link in the person's mind that now they've got a real person in front of them rather than just print. Anyhow, we're going to talk about that in another couple of videos on how we use photographs in our adverts, which actually tie in with the cards. But today, I want to show you something. I'm going to bring this up to the camera. What this is, is a... Just make sure you can see it. That is an actual press release that was uh, printed recently, following on from this that was sent out. I'll make sure there's a, a link just down below the video so you can actually have a printout of that if you want, just to see how I've structured it. But what I did, I put together a press release because uh, Sue's recently uh, enhanced her qualifications in uh, helping uh, individuals and couples with uh, fertility problems. And so the press release I sent out had this as a title. A new support group for people with infertility problems. Uh, and then I just went on how uh, we'd appeared at Olympia at a show and how Sue felt that it'd be great to have a support group set up. Uh, and so the press release was, was literally that, that the support group, um, the first one was held last night. That's uh, what, Thursday the, the 25th of November. And it went really well. In fact, if I just give a quick sort of resume of what they printed here, Basically, it actually says that managing partner of the Bedford Fertility Clinic, Sue Wilson, has decided to set up a support group for people experiencing infertility problems, based at the Bedford Health Centre. And what they've also done there for us is put Sue's number at the bottom. On the press release, I made sure that they had a choice of telephone number, email address, the web address to have a look at, and also there's a thing called contact details and more information. Again, when you download it, you'll be able to read that. Okay, so what's the purpose and how did we use that? The purpose really, the therapist, is that it's almost free. What I mean by almost is you have to put a little bit of time and effort into it. But if the paper's printed, or the radio stations call you up for an interview, or even the TV stations may want to come along to do a filming, then really that's not cost you anything at all. You know, the cost of an advert like that in a lot of papers can be anywhere from say £50 to £250. It just depends where you are and you'll know what your costs are. Now so far, Sue got three people really interested in what we're doing. And the nice thing about that is that they will convert to clients somewhere down the line. It's the nature of the business. Now in the past we've done a number of press releases and they haven't been printed, but that's okay. The key thing, uh, that when you are sending a press release out, is that at the very top, okay, you have something like for immediate release if you want it to be distributed um, as they receive it. Also, when you write the press release, don't write it as an advert, write it as a news article. The best way to copy that sort of style is to read through a few of the articles in your local paper, and that'll give you an idea. Thirdly, think of who the contacts are in your area that could do with that press release. Obviously, the first ones that come into my mind are your local press then your radio stations, and also your TV stations. However, there's no reason why you can't send them to doctor's surgeries, which is what we've done. Send it maybe to dentist surgeries. You can send it to local businesses, or maybe your contact list. The thing is, is that not many people, let alone therapists, actually do this strategy. It's a very low cost one, and it's something that I know that as you gradually do it, it gets your name about. Oh, and by the way, journalists are generally, and this is being very polite, generally quite lazy. So once they get to know that you're the expert, you're the one they'll call up, or you're the one they'll want to do an interview with, or you're the one they'll print the article with. Okay? Anyhow, that's my tip for today, how to put a press release together to maximise on your business. Uh, do keep your eyes open, we'll have some more tips for you very soon. This is Gary Foster saying, bye for now.